Sometimes one design view isn't enough. With the new Enable Multiple View Panes command, you can work across multiple views of your project simultaneously, meaning you can start a thought in one view pane and finish it in another. Stop switching between viewports, views, and visibility settings to do what you need. Just set up your views and be done. Instantly see the rendering in one view while you work in another. You can create floating panes that can be moved across multiple monitors to maximize your viewing experience. To enable multiple views, you can either use a keyboard shortcut, mappable in the keys section of the workspace editor, or via view, multiple view panes, enable multiple views. To create a new pane, right click on the pane title and choose split horizontally or split vertically. That pane will be split in two, and both panes will start out by sharing the same class and layer settings. To close one of these panes, right-click on the title and choose Close. To create a floating view pane, one that can even be placed on a second monitor, right-click on the pane label of the view that has the settings you want and choose Create Floating View Pane. You can then customize this pane further afterwards if desired. Panes can show plan view, 3D views of the design layers and varying projections, rendered views, or even sheet layers. These views can either all adhere to the same class and layer visibility settings, or you can customize visibilities per pane. This is done by right-clicking on the title of the view pane and checking or unchecking Use Same Visibilities in Every Pane. Clip cube views will be retained per pane so that you can set up multiple separate clip cubes and enable or disable them separately for each view. Saved views will be applied per pane as well, so you can quickly load up a separate saved view in each pane. Clip cube, camera position, class, layer, and object visibilities can all be controlled in this manner.